Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Basia and today I want to talk to you about silversmithing courses and learning by yourself and which is better for you. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel because that gives me tons of motivation to keep filming these videos for you and also you will never miss another episode. So now, without further ado, let's get started. Whew. Oh, we're going out. <laughs> Where should we go? Okay, let's go there. Well, that's good, but a little further. Nice, let's see the other way. So this question I asked myself in the beginning and some of you asked me too, and that is, should you try and learn silversmithing completely by yourself or should you just go and try do a course? And to be honest, the answer is, it really depends. So there are a few things to consider, like have you done any jewelry making before? Have you done any craft before? How confident are you with tools? Are you confident with using different tools? What's your budget? And do you have a space, like a proper space, where you could pretty much set up your little space where you could create jewelry, do silversmithing? Because you need to realize that silversmithing means working with fire, with open flame, with hot metal that you are at times melting. So that's really important to consider. But what if you never did any jewelry making before? Or you did, but you're not comfortable enough using new tools. If you have some budget put aside that you could invest in a silversmithing course, then I would definitely encourage you to try and find maybe like a smaller private course in your area that might be really good choice for you. Let me tell you what I did and maybe that can help you with your decision. Yes, so I did jewelry making for many years before but not silversmithing. By the time I wanted to start silversmithing I purchased some basic tools and we were we're moving from Glasgow to Bristol so we started with the room first so I didn't have a proper space and that was the main reason for me why I started thinking about doing a course also in the beginning I felt a little anxious to start using the torch uh, completely by myself I thought I would be much more confident um, trying this in a proper space with a proper person. So I did some research online in uh, like a small um, silversmithing courses in Bristol. I found a few, but I went on with the private one by Emily Glidden. I will link her in the description box if you're interested. And it's a six weeks course and you can try uh, basic tools and learn basic techniques. So that was great for me. And yeah, I'm really happy I did that. So to sum that up, I can't really tell you which option is better because it, it just depends on your needs and your experience. So from my perspective now, if I had a proper space where I could just start learning silversmithing, doing silversmithing by myself, I think I would invest this money in tools and books and supplies, but then I didn't have this space. So I didn't have a choice. Another thing to consider is the social part. Um, doing this course you can meet other people who are interested in the same thing as you are. I met Emily and also a few other ladies that were doing this course there and I really enjoyed this time. It was really nice to you know do something I love with other people. If you are starting by yourself, if you're learning by yourself and you're not going to do any courses, I just want to say just be confident uh, don't get discouraged. Give yourself a time. You know, you will get better every day. Do not compare yourself with other silversmiths, with people who have five years of experience or three years of experience or even one year. Makes a huge difference. Hello. Hello. Okay, I have company. Time to go. Bye. <laughs> 